feel like we definitely see everybody we know. We should just sit at our campsite and we've seen like every single musician we've yeah. ever interacted with. You're never alone. It's like you walk off by yourself and you're like, oh, there's there's somebody that lives across the street from me. Yeah. And especially after so many years in South by Southwest where you show up and you're like one person in a sea of one million sunburned drunk people. It's like, it's nice to have a little bit home turf, you know, where you yeah. feel a little bit more comfy in your own skin. And it's good. I mean, you know, for us, all these steps are big steps. You know, I think that sometimes it's cool to be like, oh yeah, we ended up in Bonnaroo, no big deal. It's like, for us, this is a big step, and we feel super grateful to BMI and you guys and all the other people who helped kind of aid us getting here. And so, this entire weekend has just been us trying to absorb it all and enjoy it all as much as possible. I mean, for us, it's always, we're an independent artist, so we have to figure out innovative ways to be able to deliver things to people and be able to let people know that whatever interaction they have with us is truly with us, and that we understand what it means to, like, acquire something and hold it in your hands and have a tangible thing, you know? And I think that there's, especially the idea of this song, of this whole record being based so much around nostalgic themes and the idea of, like, memories fleeting or memories about to be made. There's something great and tangible about the idea of why people buy vinyl, which is because it's of importance, it's a physical artifact, it's something that they have a sentimental. Now if you could write a song about Bonnaroo, what would the oh, opening yeah. line be? It would be 14 minutes long. Yeah. And, uh, It'd be based on whoever the guy was that sat in that disgusting porta potty long enough to draw a penis on the wall. <laughs> that kind of determination would be the centerpiece. <laughs> Is it circumcised? <laughs> no, no. I did, yeah, I kind of tried to avert my gaze. So. And that's where the interview cuts to that actual <laughs> yeah. drawing. We'll get a picture, check the website, you know. All right, well, thanks for doing the interview. Yeah. And congrats on Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah.